Right. What is the mass in kilograms of a 193 pound patient if they were, if there are 0 0.454 kilograms per pound? All right, so this question gives us a little bit of information. It actually gives us all the information we need. First of all, let's reread the question and make sure we understand what we're trying to do. What is the mass? Let's underline that because that's what we're trying to do in kilograms. So, hmm of a 193 pound patient if there are 145 kilograms per pound. All right, so we got a lot of information there, a lot of good information there. Hmm, let's see. Well, we know, what do we know? We know that we have 193 pounds. We know that, 193 pounds. Let me make this marker a little bit smaller. Oops, maybe a little too small. Make it, oops, pardon, pardon me. Make it a little bigger. There we go. 193 pounds. And we also know, we also know that there are 0 0.454 kilograms per pound. This is extremely important. Now, huh, let's see now. You know, the best way to solve these problems is to let the units tell you what to do. I mean, do you multiply, do you divide, do you add, do you subtract? I, it's too much to remember. Let's let the units tell us what to do. So what we're going to do, and this always works, and if you're one of my students in my class, this is how I want you to approach this problem because it never fails. I want you to use units. If you were in my class, I'd make you say it out loud. Units. Use the units. Use them once. Use them often. Use them all the time. They will never fail you. Okay, so what unit are we starting with? We're starting with pounds. That's the unit we're starting with. How do I know that? Because the question told me. 193 pound patient. We want to go into kilograms. We want to end. The end unit must be kilograms. Now once you get good at these questions, you don't have to say starting units this, ending units that. You just kind of know in your head. But what do we got to do? We've got to make this unit cancel, and we have to make this unit stick around. All right? That's what we got to do. And it's all multiplying and dividing. That's all it is. So let's start. Put the unit you're starting with here times, draw a line, equals kilograms. Just start like that. Every question starts like that. The unit you're starting with is here, the unit you're ending with is there, and times blank line equals. Now, great question is, what goes here on the denominator? Well, the same unit. This unit repeats down here. Why do we do that? So they'll cancel. They're gone. If you do this transformation, Pounds multiplied by pounds, or sorry, pounds divided by pounds, pounds cancel out to leave you with the number one. That's good, because we don't want to end with pounds. We want to end with kilograms. So that's good. So now, the unit that you want, kilograms, should go up here. Kilograms goes up there. I can, let me do that a little neater. Let's put that in black, actually. Kilograms. There you go. So now if we do this transformation, pounds multiplied by kilograms divided by pounds, this unit does not cancel and ends up in your answer. So the question is set up properly. Now all we have to do is put numbers in. All we got to do is put numbers in. Okay? Nothing hard. Just put in numbers. So let's put in some numbers. Let's use red because red's a pretty color. Now, 
We're starting out with 193 pounds, so put 193 right here. Notice I haven't put a number in until all my units work. The pounds cancel, kilograms remain, I'm good. Now, we must be careful here. Uh, entering digits here and here. This is commonly where a lot of mistakes happen. Even though the units are right, the wrong number goes in the right place. So let's not do that. Let's look at our equality. We have 0.454 kilograms equals one pound. I want you to think about this all the time. I want you to think this number is married to that unit and they never separate. This number is married to this unit and they never separate. So when you're plugging these numbers into here and here, this number, I know it's getting messy, but I want to really hammer this home. This number goes with the kilogram. So that number, oops, a little too rambunctious there. There we go. This number, the, 4 point, the 0 0.454, goes with the kilograms. Okay? Because they're married. The one, I know it's getting messy, but I want you to really, really know, must go here. Why does the one go there? Because it's married to the pound. Must go together. All right. Now, you just bust out your calculator. 193, multiply by 0.454, divide by 1, equals. Now, the calculator gives you 87.622. That is not the correct answer. It's getting to the correct answer. It's close to the correct answer, but it's not correct. Now, we have to round. Well, this number has three significant figures. We learned how to do significant figures in chapter in experiment one. This number has three significant figures. And this is an exact number. All right. So we have to round our final answer to three significant figures. Oops. But this one has one, two, three, four, five. So we have to round it. So, let's bust out our calculator, 87, oh, pardon me, we don't, we don't need a calculator for this. I get a little ahead of myself there. So this is my third significant figure, and there's my number I need to consider, the 2. The 2 does not change the 6 at all, so the, the final answer is 87.6 kilometer, kilograms, pardon me. There you go. I put a square around my final answer because it just makes it easier for whoever's grading it or looking at it to uh, know your final, final answer. Okay, so that's how you would solve a question like this. Now, let me um, advise you, if you don't get it, or you can't do it, or you're wondering what's going on, or you just are lost, try to do the problem again. Just try it again. See what happens. If you still can't do it, I would recommend coming to see your professor during office hours to see if you can get it straightened out, or go to the tutors at the Academic Success Center. They are there to help you figure this kind of stuff out. And I sincerely hope you found this video helpful. Now with that, I'd like to wish you good luck and good chemistry.